Hi guys, this is Mystique. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my boy Jay Williams. Please go check out his channel. He has a very great um, tech blog, very detailed and thorough in his reviews. Um, Flossie Carter is another one to follow and one to watch. Uh, Mr. Scuba Steve 01. Um, I love his videos on the original Galaxy Note, Josh Do. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that's technical about um, your um, note, he's a great one to go see. Zetamax um, and Sweet Tea, Living, Laughing, Loving. I love her blog. So much love to you guys. Just wanted to give some love back. Let's clear this up. I had a question from um, in the comment section. I believe it was from Tony HD. He asked me about how did I use the S Pen or did I even use the S Pen and if so, what for? And I wanted to show you exactly what I use it for because I haven't used it as much as I thought I would, strangely enough. I purchased this device because of the screen size because I had the original note and because of the S Pen function. I dabble in graphic artistry and I wanted something that I could be on the go and scratch let me try to zoom out. Scratch um and scribble some ideas down and animate characters and these do have apps for that. He also asked me about the Samsung App Store which is right here. So first I'm going to show him the sketch um a very good app that I feel supports and is perfect with the note uh, series of phablets or tablets or devices and um, without further ado is sketchbook mobile sketchbook mobile this uh, version I believe is free if I remember correctly I've had it for so long but it allows you different pen sizes as you can see brush properties um, you could choose uh, let's go into it just a second you see all of these it gives you a myriad of selections of different um, nib sizes and different designs that it can take and it's just exceptional in its choices let's choose this dotted one right here okay see up there it even show you let me tap again so you can zoom in there you go some details it even show you the different design that it takes see each one that I choose it changes it and you can even change the radius of it so you can really see it. Let's go out of there. You can change the colors. Uh, up here. There you go. Over and out. Um, let's go ahead. Let's erase. And you can even change the size of your eraser. You know, just right quick. Let's go back in here. Let's give you some different colors. So you can just... What are we doing? Blazing red. Let's go here, make sure that it is what it is. Um, we'll take this spidery, itchy, itchy stuff. Go out. Okay, come on. Come on. See that? Right. That is hot. That is the stuff. So if you're interested in drawing or anything like that, this would be the app to get. Okay? Um, especially with the screen of this caliber. Now, for me, I just want to exit. Um, it's not so much because I need a larger real estate. I even need more real estate than this. I'm looking forward to, I heard it was a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 inch tablet device in the works with an even more powerful processor and maybe three gigabytes of RAM. So, if this come out in the next two or three months, please believe that. This will be going bye-bye, and I will be getting that, because that will be my dream. Um, but here it go. This is the Samsung App Store. And let me zoom out so you guys can check this out. Um, you have uh, special apps right here, right? So many, so many. I'm trying to zoom in for you guys. That's just... Oh, sorry, guys. That is just for the um, Samsung Galaxy Note devices and then you see it says my real font virtual tennis challenge and the cat in the hat so let's go to my real font oh, what am I going through right <laughs> my camera is falling <laughs> sorry 
Okay, category social networking. My Real Font Pro is now free for a limited time for the Galaxy Note 2 launch. So, this is supposed to be a freebie, guys. And then it shows you this font. Look, we have a user comment. I do read those. I'm addicted to those. Wow, best app ever. Love it. Okay, well, I'm not going to download that right now. I'm kind of happy with the fonts I have. And you do have to remember that the on-device memory, unless you're going to root it or whatever, is limited to the 16 gigabytes that it ships with. And I have quite a few apps. Okay, my S Pen is very sensitive today. They have a category much like um, the Google Play Store that separates from hot apps to top apps. They have a photo editor in here, um, a YouTube downloader, uh, the My Story app, which is supposed to be a great app to have, actually. And um, I downloaded that, so they're asking me to launch it, but that's not what this video is about. So I just wanted to go into that a little bit. You could check it out for yourself. Samsung App Store. It is a separate store from the uh, Google Play Store. But some apps in the, in the Samsung App Store will direct you. I'm sorry, let me put this down and adjust this. There. I'm having a problem with my... There we go. It will direct you to the Google Play Store to continue to download some of the games. So... Be careful with that. There's nothing wrong, but it's just a lot of aggravation. Because what are you redirecting me for, right? Now, let's go into a game that I do play. I was asked by Tony once again, do I play any games um, that are directly, I guess, created for the S Pen? No. But I do play this game here, which is a Facebook game. And, yes, I am playing it, and it is a Flash game because I downloaded it. The Flash APK, because you know Jelly Bean devices do not have Flash. Yes, you can get Flash on these devices. Google it, and it'll pop right up. Let me get this. Why are they trying to trick me? Notice how, let's see if I can get it a little bit bigger. Sometimes I have, oh boy, oh boy. There you go. That's a good size. Play now. I just want you to see how fluid. Let me focus you. As best I can that it plays. I'm obsessed with this game, guys. I am. Oh, it's part of it. Okay, there we go. We got it. Do we have it all? Yeah, we have it all there. I'm wasting time. I am obsessed. I wish somebody would come give me some competition because they're not giving me none on Facebook. But as you can see, it's like a solitaire game. And this is a thing that I have. A, I love to play this on the go. But sometimes uh, the devices just was not strong enough. This device, as you can see, the processor is helly strong. You know, it just is. Huh? No need to even play around with it. And, um, yes, I am actually playing on video time. Let me hurry up and get out of here. And, you know, you can see how much I play it. Because I'm pretty good. If I must say so myself. You know, so it's something you might want to look into playing. Not just this, you can play Bejewel Blitz. Or any other um, Facebook Flash games. You know, a lot of people used to ask all the time. I remember, oh my God, we can't play face Facebook please. Facebook Flash games. And now you can. Now we have the processing power to do that. So if you can, why not, you know? You know, let's do that. So, almost finished, guys. Just going to play this one out. Um... See how seamlessly it flows? It's no, like, bumps unless it's just you bumping them all. It plays pretty seamlessly. I love this. The fact that you can play a computer um, game or a flash game with no problems, no stirs, no glitches. Sound is going. Um, you could do it on Wi-Fi or your data connection. And I'm going to tell you, I've been in places where the Wi-Fi was kind of slow and it still played with no problem. As you can see, I'm on a Wi-Fi connection now. But I'm going to come out of there. Um, I hope this answered your question. Tony HD. Let's put this S Pen back up so it don't have to start trying to remind me. Um, that's what I use my S Pen for. Uh, this is a great device. It's very feature filled. But be careful when you're purchasing it that you know exactly what you're purchasing it for. Like 
you know if you just like screen size you do not have to use the s pen with it the s pen is an extra bonus and a plus but do not let people tell you what you need to have and why you need to have it you know what i mean i also um my device is rooted you know to be honest i have uh two cameras now and two galleries one camera i always like forget oops i didn't mean to do that one camera is like let's see no that's not what i'm trying to do i'm trying to show you guys something see this i just want you to see see this is the new i haven't worked out the glitches yet but this is the new camera for the lg nexus 4 and it's kind of weird to me it also has um let me see if i can get it to come up can i go to the camera here it is see this it has the option of taking a photo spear. So you actually can, like, it'll tell you to align it to a certain dot to start. See? I'm not about to do it, but you will actually take a picture in a circle, like a globular shape of what it is you're attempting to snap a shot about. And then it'll give you an entire photo spear of... Uh, of this the, the snapshot I mean it's a great thing but that's the new camera um, variations for the the Nexus 4 but that's another video okay can't stop the shining hope you guys enjoyed this video or got something from it and um, please rate comment subscribe leave any questions that you have uh, down below um you can follow me on twitter i'm under mystique um you can also find me on facebook under mystique or malika moore that is me i'm not ashamed to say who i am and um i do have a blog on wordpress it is at mystique.wordpress.com you guys should start a blog they have a very great wordpress app on this um for the note i noticed it was very different than the one that was on my iphone's and uh, my iPad, so you might want to check that out. Um, it's uh, fleshed out a little bit more, and it's a little bit more comprehensive. Comprehensive, as far as I'm concerned. Blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. You can't stop the shiny. You know what I mean? It's the shine on, guys, and um, you've been great. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, it's not cut off. Okay.